Senator Richard Blumenthal was on uh, TV and he was talking about uh, the Russian investigation. And of course, Trump was beside himself with anger. Um, turns out that Trump was watching TV, no. First, let me show you what Blumenthal said. The Russian investigation, the impanelment of the grand jury shows that Bob Mueller is pursuing this potential wrongdoing by the Russians, the attack on our democracy seriously and diligently. And there is no minimizing or underestimating that attack by the Russians. It was purposeful and relentless and it involved propaganda and hacking into our voting machines or at least an attempt to do it and potential collusion by the Trump campaign and then obstruction of justice. That investigation must be pursued. Now, it's a very normal thing to say on cable news. They talk about Russia all the time. He's talking about Mueller who's doing an investigation. It makes sense, right? And he's a Democratic senator. So nothing here is surprising. But Trump, of course, can't stand any criticism. John Kelly's chief of staff was supposed to get him under control. He ain't under control. So he grabs a Twitter machine. And starts to tweet out, um, and so he says this. Interesting to watch Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut talking about hoax Russian collusion when he was a phony Vietnam con artist. Now, wait a minute, I'm gonna get into his Vietnam record in a second, but what does that have to do with anything with the Russia investigation? Nothing at all, just back to bully Donald Trump. Oh Yeah, lying Ted, crooked Hillary, Blumenthal didn't go to Vietnam, right? So he continues, never in US history has anyone lied or defrauded voters like Senator Richard Blumenthal. Well, there might be one exception, just look up, look at that picture up there. Anyway, he told stories about, he says, about his Vietnam battles and conquests, how brave he was and it was all a lie. He cried like a baby and begged for forgiveness like a child. Now he judges collusion. Again, collusion in Vietnam have nothing to do with one another. But second of all, he didn't cry like a baby. And this is the president, this is the president saying these outrageous, insane things, accusing senators of crying like babies. All right, let's go to the truth now. Now, uh, Raw Story explains, while Blumenthal has publicly apologized for claiming that he served in Vietnam, he did actually enlist in the United States Marine Corps Reserve, where he served from 1970 to 1976. So look, you wanna blame Blumenthal for being a cheesy politician who uh, lied about actually going to be now fine, but he is definitely a veteran. He's a Marine, and and no one disputes that. Okay, so now let's do, for a second. Let's turn to Trump's uh, military record. Find out what happened there. Trump, meanwhile, was granted four deferments on the draft while he was studying at Fordham University and the University of Pennsylvania, and then was subsequently medically disqualified during an Armed Forces physical examination for supposed bone spurs in his feet. Although no records exist to verify this claim. And of course, he famously during the campaign when asked which foot had a bone spore, couldn't remember and said, uh, maybe both. <laughs> he didn't have no bone spur. He didn't want to go to Vietnam. Now he criticizes actual veterans. Uh, so veterans on Twitter stepped in and were quite enraged about this. We have some fun tweets. Uh, Robert uh, Googly Lemmy says, you, Mr. President, have absolutely no right to criticize anyone who served. Um, won't be silenced as draft, draft dodger says what? Uh, Vets against Trump says five draft deferments, using your wealth and privilege to avoid fighting while others less elite were drafted, hashtag vets against Trump. And then Tully Mox was a little bit more blunt. I'm a veteran, you chicken hawk piece of trash. You have no room to talk, the only service you had was avoiding STDs. Now, if you're wondering what they're referring to there, well, I have the quotes for you. So when talking to Howard Stern throughout the years, Donald Trump has said, you know, if you're young and in this era, and if you have any guilt about not having gone to Vietnam, we have our own Vietnam, it's called the dating game. Dating is like being in Vietnam. You're the equivalent of a soldier going over to Vietnam. Because he was worried about the STDs while dating. Now, I am i didn't go to Vietnam. I'm too young, um, and I don't make claims about whether I would have gone or not gone, etc. I have the decency uh, to not insult the veterans who went to Vietnam. Now, whether it was a war that was wrong or not, they went, they risked their lives, they went through hell there. And this guy flippantly talks about, like, I mean, when I was dating all those women because I'm really rich, avoiding the sexually transmitted diseases was like going to Vietnam. No, it wasn't. I can assure you it really, really wasn't. 
He's, he's not done, he had one more quote on that. He said, it's amazing about, again, avoiding STDs. I can't even believe it. I've been so lucky in terms of that whole world. It is a dangerous world out there. It's like Vietnam, sort of. It's my personal Vietnam. I feel like a great and very brave soldier. So that's Donald Trump and his service to the country. And he has a temerity to attack a guy who served as a Marine for six years. And now when people called him out, hey, stop watching TV and sending these insane tweets. He then tweets, the White House is functioning perfectly. Focus on healthcare, tax cuts, reform, and many other things. I have very little time for watching TV. Okay, are you ready for this? John Berman from CNN said, for what it's worth, we were talking about this subject on TV just before the tweet. In other words, he watches them talking on TV about how he watches too much TV and sends a tweet immediately going, I'm not watching TV. The guy is a pathological liar. And in his own words, sad baby. If you like this video, you probably like independent media. The best way to support independent media, become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.